Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today it's gonna to be a hot mess. It's gonna be more of a working session because normally when I um, when we do an off the mat assembly, I usually have it a little bit more prepped because um, I always, when I take it off the mat, uh, off the cutting mat, that is uh, straight from the Cricut machine, um, I always kind of piece it together to make sure that all the pieces are there but this one has so many pieces. The only reason why I'm doing this character is one, I think she's adorable. And two, I really wanna test out my skin color paper cardstock. So that's why it's gonna be more of a working session. I will be, uh, hopefully because it's not all about the actual um, character, that I'll be able to focus more on some of the tips and tricks. Um, one of the things that I really want to do though is check this little thing out. So I haven't really used the, they're called wobbles. So you can see right here, the band-aid kind of moves, like it bounces up and down. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a little piece that has like a spring, like a little plastic spring, but good for paper. And I think it's so cute. I want to use it for her stethoscope. <laughs> stethoscope. All right, can't even say, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I want this whole piece to not only um, wobble, I want it to spin. So I'm gonna show you how to do a little swivel piece on the on the character. And I really wanna test out the cardstock. So let me show you what it looks like and why I think today is gonna be, I'm calling it a working session up front because it's gonna look crazy. This is what it looks like. I always use this um, these big boards to hold all my pieces. So you can see it's got a lot of pieces. And I tried with this one to minimize the number of pieces and it was still quite a bit. But let's get started. With all off the mat characters, what I like to do is whether or not there is an actual background, like a full background, I always like to do one because it's good to have the pieces, all the pieces sitting on one thing so that it's easy to move, uh, it's easy to put down, it, I feel like it's a good practice, even though you might think that um, it is more work. And it is more work at initially, but I think it's less work overall because it would be really hard um, to put down all your pieces together. All right, so what am I missing here? She's really slender. She's like one of the princesses where it's like big head, little body, and really slender. So you can see this is the first four pieces. The last two pieces um, is her bag. Let me see, I don't even know how this goes. Okay, it's uh, this is like her medicine bag and her two legs. So you can kind of see that. So I'll put, I'll put these two together first. So with all the off the mat characters, when you're putting together the, the full back piece, <clears throat> excuse me, I always flip it over and I tape from behind, okay? Um, and I just use regular scotch tape. And what you wanna do is you wanna lift one piece and push it against the other piece so that if for some reason um, you can see through all the colors that we put on top of this piece, that this black piece won't be distracting. It's going to be as seamless as possible. So you see, like I put it really close together. This part down here, because I know it is my end piece, um, I wanna go back and tape it really closely to the edge. And that's so, at the edge, um, there are no pieces that will sit on top. So um, I can't remember if this one, there is a black outline running all, all the way throughout, but um, I believe there is. So what that means is at the edge, you will always see that because it's the outline. So with the edge, you wanna tape it right here because if there's any bending to it, um, the, the little seam will catch sunlight or any kind of light and you'll be able to see the seam a little bit more. So the whole point of this thing is to make it so, to make it really big, but really seamless and flawless. And so this is one of the tricks is you wanna make sure you tape towards the end. All right, so you can kind of see like, like what happens when there's like a little, you can see it, right? Cause it's not, this is not black. It's a, it's a white core. So it means that there's black on top, but the middle is white. So what you can do, <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's like the first day that it's kind of chilly and I have something in my throat. Um, 
what you can do, and I've done this at times when it's, um, and I usually do it when the black is like a really big part of the actual character, like think uh, Snow White or Princess Jasmine where the hair is so much. Um, but here it's just gonna be a little piece. But what you could do is you could do um, is take a black marker and kind of just you know run it through right here so that it's it's not as obvious but you can see when we this is going to be taped down it's going to be glued to a uh, foam board as well so it won't be as noticeable and it's only going to be like this much because over here will be her lab coat and um probably her her pants <laughs> so we won't see that all right let's do the rest of these pieces sorry i'm like spending so much time talking about that all right, so I'm flipping this over. Same thing with these two pieces. Now this is the middle part, so I, probably none of this is gonna be showing, but I'm just gonna tape here. Because it's the middle of her body, and then here is her head. So her head at the top, definitely right here. I'm gonna wanna do that. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Right here. I'm gonna fold the, or push this up against this one. So now they're all paired up. Now we got to put together the set of pairs, right? So like put this with the rest, her head with the bottom of her face. And on this one, I'm gonna wanna get the edges, right? Cause over here, you're, um, nothing is going to be covering it. Okay, and then the last set is her leg and her bag. All right, so here we come. And you see how everything lines up? It's like the four corners meet. That is why I do the grid of squares, which you can, of course, um, find on my website. Um, it's kind of important because it's easier to line up, which means it helps us with our seams, you know, it's always about, um, I mean, we can make this as big as we want, right? Because you just keep slicing and you can make something that is 100 feet if you have the time <laughs> and the patience to do it. Um, but it's not gonna look good, right? If we don't work on all the seams. Um, and I know that from personal experience because I really wanted the challenge one time and I made Princess Jasmine um, at, um, what did I do? I did her at uh, five foot one, and she was just one inch shorter than um, than I am, and it looked horrible. I absolutely hated it. Um, the seams were so distracting, and honestly, if I cut her back some inches to like let's say forty eight inches, so four feet, four feet is still a very sizable character prop, right? she would have been flawless, seamless, beautiful, and not distracting. Like she would have just been like jaw dropping, awesome and cool. Instead, she was like really big with a ton of mistakes and I just, I hated it. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our little girl right here, our little doctor. All right, so let's start putting the pieces on top. Um, So this is the brown in her hair. Um, actually, maybe it's this way. Uh -huh. Let's put the face down because I know where the ears go. And so in person, this brown is looking really, really pretty. I feel like the color is not translating onto the camera that well, but once I, uh, once we put this together, I always bring it out to natural light to take a picture of it. So if you're turned off by the color, give me a chance to take a picture before um, before you say anything. But it could be that you love the color, so let me know as well. But this is, 
um, this is one of the colors that I really want to go with. Both the hair. So for Doc McStuffins, which I didn't realize her name had an S at the end um, until someone graciously pointed it out to me. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, I really like this character because I incorporated almost all the colors from the skin color packet. And you're gonna find that like in the Band-Aid, for instance. The Band-Aid, the outline is a color. Um, the skin tone up here and here are also colors of the, um, of the pack, so. All right, we've got this, let's see. Let's put all this together and then we'll get to the other things. Um, you know what else I need to do? I need to bring this up in design space because I honestly don't know what she really looks like, like her whole character. So give me a second to get my, um, get this up on my screen so I know what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go to my Etsy image. So give me a second. Um, and I know tomorrow's Halloween, so it's like, I don't even know how many of you guys are watching this right now because I would be super busy. As soon as I'm done with this, I am off to do all fun Halloween things with my daughter and my husband. All right, here we go. <gasps> Wait a minute. Okay, so the SVG file says it's Doc McStuffin. I'm gonna have to Google this. All right, <laughs> now that I know what she looks like, give me a second. Yep, okay, this is the right image. Okay, so she's got this up here. Um, how is she like? I love these characters because they just come to life. I mean, they are, they're identical to what we know, right? So I love, I mean, kids love it. Um, here's something that I want to show you. So this is the shoe. If you can kind of imagine what the shoe looks like. Let me see. It looks like this. Okay. The shoe was originally in like eight pieces on each side. So, and what I ended up doing was I welded everything so it's one piece because all that stuff takes so much time when you're cutting and you take it off the mat um, and when you're piecing it all together. So honestly, I hate that. And I will always um, weld when I feel like it doesn't impact the overall image. And the other thing is, you can see I'm piecing this together. And I know my face is right there, so you can't really see it. Let me move it over a little bit. Um, it's really important to kind of put everything down first because this may seem obvious, the face may seem obvious where it goes, but there are some places where it's not obvious. And so when you don't put these outer pieces down and glue it down right away, then it gives us the option to kind of like minimize our mistakes. So for instance, if I glued this down already and up here I make a mistake, if the mistake was so bad, I could have, you know, moved this up a little bit to make it not as obvious. And it would, you know, it would affect this part down here. It wouldn't be perfect, but then the whole thing would kind of absorb all the mistakes. But if you don't allow yourself room to make mistakes, then what will happen is this will be, you know, this will be where it's supposed to be. And then there'll be a huge gap maybe up here. So that's kind of this takes a long time to piece all together, but it's just giving us room for error because we're going to make them. Um, I feel like that's synonymous with crafting, right? <laughs> Is the mistakes just keep coming. Um, so anyway, that's why like this, this part is time consuming. It's tedious, but it also makes for a, um, a more flawless project, which, you know, like while we're doing this, we might as well, right? I have a little piece right here. What's going on? Oh, there it is. Um, this is another part of her sweater that was in each one of these little rectangles uh, was a separate piece. And so I welded the whole thing together. So it's, you lift it up, it's one whole piece. 
All right, let's look at this. That's her lab coat. I mean, it's so cute. Um, I ended up using two different whites, and that's the other thing that you'll find is on this project, the color scheme is really just, you know, brown, purple, white, and pink. But we ended up going with multiple shades, um, different textures, um, the white is in like a pearl for her jacket and then on her sweater it's actually um, just like a plain white let's see what's right there that's her pocket and this is her bag this too uh, was in a bunch of pieces and I just made it all one. And I honestly, like, I don't think anybody would know, um, except for us. So why? Why kill ourselves over those details? <laughs> all right, let's see, what would, what do we have? Oh, same thing with the shoe. The shoe has all these um, thin, like the rubber soles or whatever, um, and I just made them all together without losing the details. Like you still have the, the little thin lines right and the cutouts but they're all welded together down here and i know you can't see the shoe down here but i'm going to lift this up a little bit um because the shoe is such a cute detail so this right here would have been like 15 separate little pieces but right now it's two um Unfortunately, these little guys right here are, you know, each one separate piece, but you win some, you lose some, and, you know, you win enough, it's as good as it can be. Okay. So you see how it's starting to come together? It's cute, right? I mean, that's what I love about these projects. They always look so good. Um, okay. Just so many pieces, and I'm trying to figure out which skin color I ended up going with. So I believe it's this one. Yeah. This is her neck, I think. No. What is that piece? Oh, it is her neck, okay. <laughs> um, we've got cuffs. Is it this side? No, I think it's this side. It's got a lot of really cute pieces, but unfortunately it's, um, it's a lot of work right here. I don't know what that piece is. Go like this. Um, oh, is it on this side? Sorry. No? See, this is where I get really bad. I don't, nothing looks right to me. Um, no, I think it's, that doesn't make sense. Could it be this side? I'm not sure. <laughs> We're gonna have to get back to that. Let's see. Um, we've got pockets, got more cuffs, does that look more right? Okay, um, oh man, we've got a lot of purple pieces, all right. and pink pieces and pieces everywhere this is this is why i wasn't loving this project because her pants they have all these little dots so we got to put that together not looking forward to that <laughs> all right let's see So, and I chose to go with a glitter black background. So, um, you're gonna need to 
glue this down. I would not use double-sided tape. A lot of times I use double-sided tape, my Tombow um, glue, little glue guy, this. But on this one, because the background is black glitter, um, I'm gonna end up using Barely Art Glue and I'm also going to be using my glue gun. Um, the glue gun I would only recommend on thicker cardstock, like my glitter cardstock, that won't warp or show the heat um, impacting the paper. So that's going to be really important that you do that as well. Um, okay. So we've got a pocket right there. I don't know what this... Oh, you know what? I know what this piece is. It's her little pocket over here. That's why it wasn't fitting anywhere. <laughs> and same thing with this little guy right here. These were in multiple pieces as well. So you can kind of start to see, I mean, honestly, um, I don't think that you would have realized that this should have been two pieces. So that's kind of where I make my decision. So cute, right? It's just all coming together. And then this little guy is going, oh, this is gonna be on the stethoscope. So I took out the middle and I did it like this and then it's also going to spin like that. It's gonna be so cute. All right, if you stick with me while we piece all this together, let's see what else do we have here. All right, we've got, this is part of her sweater. I don't even know how to do this. So many pieces. Um, all right. More, let's do more of her jacket so that we can be. I mean, check out the buttons even. It's so stinking cute. Once we put this down, I think I'm gonna end the video and then I'm gonna break it down into more manageable chunks so that you can find what you're looking for. I think the other thing that I'm gonna focus on is that spinning stethoscope. Um, and um, that's it really, um, because the rest you guys have seen many times. So let me move this up so you can see that. I mean, this is just coming together and she's looking so cute. Um, okay, so the pants. Oh man, it's gonna be so hard to figure out which dot goes where. Um, here's the top of her sweater. So imagine like, okay, so I've got a few more dots trying to figure out which dots go on which pant leg. That would have been the same with both the collar and the bottom of her sweater. So that's why I'm a big fan of welding this together. These little pieces, I don't enjoy putting together. Um, yeah, not a fan. <laughs> so it's gonna go something like this. And I believe, oh no, this, is, this all came together as one piece. Same thing as over here. Um, and I just want to show you the difference, like, let me see, how does that work? This is the other color. So with skin tone, I mean, you can just do a ton. Like I even opted for like lighter hair. Maybe that will look good. So I'm gonna show, this is more of like an experiment. She's going to be a doll. 
um, where I can, you know, put different colors on to see, you know, does it look better with her hair like that? I don't think so. Um, I also cut her hair in car, um, glitter cardstock just to see. I don't know where we're going to see, but I have all these pieces and they're not going to waste. We're going to be experimenting and I'm going to be taking lots of pictures so that you can see it. And I feel like I did that a lot with the princesses, right? So I played a lot with that skin tone. Um, and it, it makes a difference because if you go with two cream, which, you know, I'll go into Joann's and my Joann's has just like a gigantic long wall of open cardstock. And there's like a whole row, like top to bottom of just what I would call skin color. Um, and yet, like out of all those choices, maybe only two work. So there's something about like actually putting it down to see if you have the right color. So um, I'm gonna take all the guesswork out of it because I'm actually doing it. Um, but I feel like for the, you know, like the Disney princesses and those characters, I've got that nailed down. For this, we're still working on it. But I've done, um, if you've been following me on Instagram, um, Princess Tiana and Queen B from the LOL line, I've got a couple different variations because I've done them in the past. So I went with colors that I liked back then, but I also want to give you some colors that are in the cardstock selection um, and also so that you could see what it looks like. So it's really, um, I, you know, I mentioned this on my TikTok live yesterday, um, which is there's, there's two ways to do the characters. One is you really try to match it up to what you've seen in the cartoon or movie or whatever it is, right? And the second one is, yeah, we know that's not the right tone, but this is what my daughter likes or this is what the client likes. So I wanna be able to offer up um, another, another option, that's all. Um, all right. And even, let's see, on this one, the lips are a different, another color from the cardstock line. So you can see the browns, there's going to be a lot of options. And you can see right here, just right here, you have three shades and then you have um, one, two, three, another three from the Band-Aid. So it's really like, oh, the eyes are kind of bothering me. Let me put this in and see if that helps. She's starting to look, yeah, there we go. Um, all right. So I'm still piecing everything together. Um, let's see. Here we go. This will help a little bit. And see right here, this, this is not lining up yet. So, you know, we kind of need to put it down like this hand is definitely it's running into my jacket which obviously would not be the case regularly right um oh it's so hard to find everything <laughs> all right here we go we've got the ear this little piece in here I mean, just her little freckles. I love these characters. They do such a good job. They make them look just absolutely adorable. Okay, where does this little white piece go? Oh, right here. I don't know. I can't get this piece to be right. I have to figure that out. Um, okay. Where is this piece? Um, all right. Let me pull this up a little bit so you can see more. So her face is coming together. The eyes are just missing like a little, little piece right there. So let me see if I can find those pieces. 
Um, I think it might be these little pieces right here. And this makes all the difference in how cute. Like, oh my gosh, her face is so cute. Um, we've got hair pieces for the braids. So let me see where those pieces are. Um, so this is what my board looks like now. So you can see I went with another set of colors. So that's why it's, it's a hot mess right now. Okay, here we go. We've got stuff for the hair. Oh no, it's the other way. This was also in a million pieces and I'm just making it one little barrette color. Um, here is the red for her little hair. So her face is is almost complete. I think we're just missing, I'm missing a little piece of the headband. There's like a white circle that goes up there. Um, and it's gotta be tiny so I can't see it right now. But you can see she's really coming together. Looking really, really cute. All right, let me pull this up a little bit so you can see the bottom half that I'm working on So this, there's going to be another one that goes right here. It's her little bag, her signature. So cute. Um, all right. So let's see. We've got... Okay, so there's a little purple. So many pieces. Holy... I don't even know what piece that would be. <laughs> All right. Um, I may have to let you go just so that I'm not taking forever right here. This is something like this. So you can see the pieces. So this is the purple. Purple I went with um, a glitter and then I also went with the plain purple that's like super girly I don't know it's so pretty um, for her sweater so you can kind of see like there's not a lot of complexity in colors but I went with a different textures like even in the face and the hair there's different texture there and then you know glitter and regular and pearl like shimmer ish um, so it all kind of oh I know what this is this is part of this stethoscope because <laughs> something like this see my mind it's gonna go something like this and this will spin all right so I'm gonna put the rest of this together part two will be this and if there's a part three maybe I'll do another foam board um, quick tutorial so that you can easily find stuff all right let me know which characters you want to see if this was helpful why I do it because you can see it's been like back and forth right of like shifting things this thing has been like really hard for me um, but like you can see right now obviously if we if I put this down, 
like I just want to give myself again it's really important to give us room to fix our mistakes so that we can play with it a little bit so maybe this little outline may be a little bit thicker than it should be but a little bit thicker means that over here it's going to be less obvious whereas you know if we don't have that room to play with then one side's going to be like really obvious we made a mistake there um so that's all that we're doing all right see you guys on the next one give me like three hours <laughs> to piece this together all right bye guys